number two, sure bit questions. This one you will not miss them. So I want to promise you around 30 marks in paper two that you are sure about. The grid below, the present part of a periodic table, study it and answer the questions that follow. Let us do not represent the symbols of the actual element. So whenever you have this uh, grid here, you need to know how to label this one from number one to so it means you must have the first 20 elements overhead. So you should know that this one is hydrogen, that's number one, number two, number three, four, and so these are the first 20 elements. So you are asked this is C and this is F. So you can see that this is group two elements. So group two elements. This is group two. Add metals. These are called alkaline add metals. Don't let alkali because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Group seven here. They are called um, <coughs> halogens. They are halogens. So those are the things in period before. Which letter represents the elements that is least reactive? Least reactive. The element which represents the least reactive is A. Why? Because A is of 2 or 2 to 8 or 2 to 8 8 so they are stable they don't react so it means that this the answer here is a you have they forgot to write you explain because you need to explain why you are telling that you say that because this the elements because the elements the element does not gain do not gain like the element is stable electronic configuration of that element is stable so it doesn't react as simple as that what type of bond formed between b and e so you go back and look at b and e the bond between b and e so b is here b is carbon and then You can see that B is carbon and E is, this is number 16, and that is sulfur. It's both of them, they are an animator, so it's going to form CS. So this, the, what bond is between them? Both of them are nanometers, therefore they are going to form covariant. Because both of them are nanometers, therefore the bond is covariant. If the bond is covariant, you need